Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of instructional videos for the piano accordion. In our last lesson, we discussed techniques for playing klezmer music. Today, we're going to focus on Balkan music and use our new techniques to play the song Idiano. Much Balkan music is in asymmetrical time signatures, which sound exotic and unusual to unfamiliar listeners. Whereas in most of the music we've played, there is either 3 or 4 beats per measure, in Balkan music there is often 7, 11, or even 13 beats per measure. The effect is an entirely different kind of groove, which requires us to learn new left-hand accompaniment patterns. Today's song is in 7-8, meaning each measure consists of 7 eighth notes. In other words, that means we're going to be counting to 7 very quickly. Just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's play on the downbeat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7-8 seven, is usually subdivided into groups of 3 and 2. Today's 7-8 groove can be broken into a group of 3 eighth notes, 1, 2, 3, and then two groups of eighth note pairs, one, two, one, two. So we're going to count it like this. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Let's play E minor on all of the ones. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Now to fill out the groove, let's play on one and three, just like this. One two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two. Try doing the same thing on the bass side. One two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two. Let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to alternate the bass button and the chord button. One two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two. Now let's add alternating bass. Now try both hands. As an exercise, try this progression. We're going to play two measures of E minor, followed by two measures of D major. Now we're going to add a little connector phrase at the end. Listen carefully. Here it is. All of this should come in handy in our song of the day, Idiano. The song Idiano begins by going through those same four measures that we played in the warm up. So you're going to play E minor for two measures, then D major for two measures. Then we're going to play G for one measure, A minor for one measure, C for one measure. The next measure is split. It's half C major and half D major. So it's going to sound like this. Here it is again. Let's go back to the G major. That's going to be G, A minor, C, C, D. And then we're going to play E minor for one measure and then D for one measure. So again, that's going to be G, A minor, C, C, D, E minor, D. If you back it up to the beginning, we're going to start on E minor. E minor, D, here's the G, G, A minor, C, C, D, E minor, D. At this point, the entire sequence beginning on G major is going to repeat. So let's start back at that G major. G, A minor, C, C, D, E minor. 
Here we're not going to play the D major, we're going to stay on E minor for one more measure. Let's try our entire chord progression. E minor, D, G, A minor, C, C, D, E minor, D, G, A minor, C, C, D, E minor. Idiano starts with that short melody I showed you in the warm-up, so let's review that. You're going to start with your fourth finger on G. For the next phrase, you're going to shift your hand up by one key so that your third finger is on G. Hear that is again. Keep your hand in that position for the next phrase. Here it is again, that's your fourth finger on A. Let's put those two phrases together, starting with your fourth finger on G. Shift. The next phrase of the song is basically a repetition of the previous phrase, but it's going to start with a short lead-in on F-sharp and A. That's second finger and fourth finger. Then you're going to repeat the previous phrase. Even though the last two phrases of the song are identical in the right hand, they're going to sound different because of the left hand chords you're playing. At the end of this phrase, there's that D major chord and that lead in, which makes the listener think that something else is coming. But when you play the last phrase of the song, you end on an E minor chord which is a cue to the listener that that part of the song is ending. Let's play the entire right hand melody. Also, let's add a bass solo to that short transition phrase I showed you earlier. That occurs pretty early in the song, right here. So right here I'm playing D, E, and F sharp in the right hand. And we're going to mimic that on the bass side. That's going to look like this. D, E, F sharp. And that puts you in a great position to play the next measure of G with your fourth finger. Now let's put it all together. Join us next time as we continue exploring Balkan music. Thanks for watching.